Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are looking at the Rectangular Pattern Tool. This is useful because it can help make a big sketch with a lot of repeating details be a lot quicker to draw. Now, what I mean by that is, well, let me just demonstrate. When we go to the Create Sketch tab here, like so let's say we wanted a box that could hold, like, I don't know, 25 different little items. You know, like 25 sections to this box or something. To draw out each of those rectangles or squares individually would be pretty tedious and annoying, right? So what we'll do is we'll just draw this out real quick. We'll try about 62 by 62 and press enter. And we're going to draw out 25 squares. We could do that manually and dimension each one and space it out, but that would be really time consuming and annoying. So what we'll do instead We'll draw our two-point rectangle here. We'll just draw something like that. We're going to dimension this real quick. We want this to be two millimeters. We want this to be two millimeters as well. Then we need to make the actual width of the rectangle. We're going to make it a square now, so it's going to be 10 by 10. That's in millimeters. Now we have that. So here, let's go to the rectangular pattern tool, and we'll highlight our square here. Now this distance here, what you'll notice about this distance is like, it's, it's kind of weird at first to think about it, but what it does is it takes the distance between the midpoint of this rectangle and the midpoint of this rectangle. So the way I figured out that it's 48 millimeters then, well first of all you could just do some trial and error and just drag it around until it looks right, but to be more precise. Our total width here is 62 millimeters. The distance from the midpoint of this rectangle, or the square actually, and the edge is seven millimeters because the width is 10, so 10 divided by two is five, plus this two right here is seven. We wanted two millimeters on this side as well, so that means that we need to have it offset by seven millimeters total from this center. So, the way I found 48 is then 62 minus 7 plus 7, which is 14. So 62 minus 14 is 48. So that is the entire width of our repeated section here. Now we want 5 here, so we're going to type in 5 instead of 3, and it'll just add in the extras. And then we'll click on this so that we can bring out more. We want 5 copies again. But this time, since our direction is facing upwards, we want to make a negative number. And it is a square, so we can type in negative 48 and press enter. And there you have it. We just drew 25 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 25 in a matter of seconds. And it's even faster without me explaining it. Once you have the hang of it, it can be very quick. It's very useful because that way you don't have to do every single one of these individually, space them out individually, and make sure that everyone is the same size and distance from each other. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the rectangular pattern tool. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.